first time I thought I was having a stroke and I just ignored it, but the second time. Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog, or welcome if you're new. Today's Wednesday and it's currently 7.18 a.m. and I'm about to head into the gym very early today. I'm so proud of myself. I don't normally go this early, but I'm really trying to get back to going early because it's just not as busy and I have a better and longer workout when I go earlier. So here we are and it's leg day. Just got finished and that was a serious leg workout, you guys. I did a lot of squats. I started out by doing like three rounds with no weight and then I added weight and if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that squats always make me dizzy and feel like I'm gonna pass out, but today I feel like I controlled myself pretty well and when I like felt that feeling coming on, I just stopped. So I feel like I did less repetitions at once, like more little breaks in between, but I got it done. I'm back home, but I have to take a shower before I do anything, guys. My hair is so dirty. I got so many compliments from you guys and literally from everyone about doing this hairstyle. And I've been doing it so much because it results in less heat on my hair. So when I have it, like with these waves in it, it lasts multiple days. I mean, look how dirty my hair is. I literally haven't washed it in, I don't even know. I just put dry shampoo in it and it just stays like this and I don't have to put heat on it every single day. So that's why I've been doing this hairstyle. But once it gets dirty to the point where like I can't do it anymore, obviously I have to wash my hair. It's like so dirty. So I'm gonna go take a shower and then figure out what to do for breakfast. Just got out of the shower. My hair is up in this little turban and I just decided to do a little face mask on the lower half of my face. Um, this is that Clinique charcoal mask. No, the Clinique City Block clay mask. There we go. Here's today's breakfast piece of toast, some scrambled eggs, and then I'm also gonna have this yogurt because I always crave something sweet after every meal. And these are so amazing. They only have two grams of sugar and they're actually really good. And the coconut one is my favorite. Much later now, obviously I'm dressed, I have makeup on, and I'm trying to convince Chad to go and help me take some pictures for some of the new arrivals. I have a shoot tomorrow morning with one of the models to shoot some of it, but I wanna model some of it as well. I have these really, really cute shorts coming in today. I we'll actually have one pair that just came in that are distressed, and then I have the same ones that are just like high rise, distressed hem shorts in white and like a medium color. And they're so cute, you guys. So I'm really, really, really excited. Got more cherries, cause these are my favorite. And I filled this entire bowl up and I've already eaten almost all of them. They're so good. Even though this one probably looks the tastiest, the super dark ones are the sweetest. Chad and I went to go take pictures and it was a complete fail because it started raining and then by the time we got home, it's not raining, but it's like super dark outside. So there's a storm coming for sure. I don't know if you guys can see through the window, but the storm is a Bruin. Everything you see right here is PR. So I thought I would just do a massive PR unboxing because I love watching when other YouTubers 
just like share all the random PR they have. The boxy charm is not PR, but it is my latest boxy charm. So the first box is from Coco Kind, which I was really excited about because this particular brand is at Target and I love shopping for brands that I don't have to go out of my way to go to Sephora or Ulta for or like specifically order online like Glossier I think you can only get online so I like this brand because it's easy for people to get um, so they sent their rose water toner which I actually have one of these and then their oil to milk cleanser and these oil cleansers are really really good for removing makeup and then their daily spf which i can never get enough of right now i'm currently using the super goop one that i got in my fab fit fun box but i will definitely give this one a go as soon as i run out of that this one's spf 32 and i love any kind of daily spf that's specific for the face because i don't like putting other sunscreens on my face that aren't specific to that i don't know if you guys can tell but the lights totally just flickered like twice the first time I thought I was having a stroke and I just ignored it, but the second time I knew I wasn't having a stroke and the lights are definitely flickering. Okay, we'll see how much longer I have electricity for because I know it's gonna go out whenever there's a storm. Anyways, I also was sent the resurfacing sleep mask and then we got the texture smoothing cream with celery super seed complex. So both of those and then the revitalizing eye cream so that's everything from coco kind pretty much everything i got is all skincare so lots of exciting skincare stuff oh my god i just literally threw my boxy charm on the ground so let's hope there wasn't like an eyeshadow palette or something in there because it's probably shattered but anyway next is from pixie which i've been on their pr list for a long time and i love their products and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I did already take a peek at this because I was so excited. They always have the cutest packaging ever. This is for their On The Glow tinted blushes. It's like a tinted moisture stick and this is exactly what they look like. So the packaging is what they look like. And here they are. Oh, this is so cool. Are you talking to me? I have no idea. I don't know what he's saying. I'm just gonna ignore that. If it's important, he'll leave a message. <laughs> and then next up is another skincare brand that's also available at Target. This sent me stuff. This is first Q scarf. How awesome is this? I'm actually obsessed. I've been wanting a scarf because these are like so trendy right now, you know? Like do the little Ooh, I look like an idiot. I look like Michael Scott. I don't even know if that makes sense. So here's what I got from Burst, and they actually let me pick stuff out. So this is the Daymaker Micro Crystal Exfoliator. And then I picked out these reusable cotton pads because I use cotton pads all the time, and I really like that these are reusable, so you can just wash them and use them over and over again, and it comes in this little mesh pouch. So I thought this would be like a more sustainable option for someone who goes through cotton pads a lot, or cotton rounds, I mean. Same thing. And then I picked out this, which the packaging is just so gorgeous on. Like, how pretty is this? And this is the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. And I'm a huge fan of cleansing balms for removing your makeup. They're just like way more gentler than makeup wipes are. And I right now use the Pharmacy Beauty um, Cleansing Balm. It's like the green clean one. I love it, but I am almost out. So it'll be a perfect time to try this one out. Then I also got the Versed Dew Point Moisturizing Gel Cream. Last but not least, we've got a tinted lip oil in Silk Slip. This one is in Blossom, I guess. So that's everything from Versed. Another skincare brand, this one is actually from Sephora. And I was looking at their face oils the last time I had like a 20% off coupon um, during one of their sales for being like a Rouge member. I saw their face oil and I was like, oh, that looks kind of cool. Like maybe I want to try that because it's a clean by Sephora brand. And then somehow I'm on their PR list and I got a box of stuff. So I thought that was just perfect. Here we are. So I will go ahead and show you guys what I got. The Coco Rose Coconut Oil Body Polish. Oh my gosh. I'm just here for all of this gorgeous packaging. So I'm gonna open this up. I wanna see what the actual product looks like. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely beautiful, you guys. This is gonna be so perfect before I go tan again. I haven't been going tanning. I haven't gone in like over a week because I was out in the sun because I went to the beach so much that I just felt like, well, I'm tan enough, but I feel like it's starting to fade now. Then I got the Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. 
and then the cloud jelly vegan collagen plumping hydration serum and then this is the pink cloud creamy jelly cleanser and then this is the one that I was talking about. It's literally blue. It's called the La Peace Blue Tansy Squalane Balancing Facial Oil. This stuff, let me just show you guys. It just like looks so cool. It's freaking blue. Can't wait to try this. And I feel like I don't have to worry about these products because they're clean by Sephora. So I know the ingredients are at least clean. And that is just a little bit easier on my mind to know that it's like a clean brand because... I feel like my skin can be sensitive sometimes. You guys know that. Okay, so that's everything that's PR. Now we're gonna open up my boxy charm. This boxy charm is called Flourish, and it came with ooh, Murad City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. I really love the Murad brand. I know for a fact this is a good brand, and they've been around for a while. Oh wow, this is actually this is so cool. Guys, this is one of those where you like push it up onto a cotton round and then like comes out like that. That's pretty cool. Oh gosh. This is an eyeshadow palette and I dropped it, but it is wrapped in bubble wrap, so hopefully it's okay. Have cosmetics, day and night eyeshadow palette. All right, let's see what wild colors they sent me this time. These are actually not wild colors for once. They're actually like really good neutrals. These are all colors I will use. I am so excited. I feel like my BoxyCharm always sends me like the most random colors and I am not into that. I'm more of a neutral girl, so I'm like really excited. I, I will actually use these colors and it didn't break when I dropped it, so that's great too. Eyeshadow brushes, which is perfect. This is by the brand Lavish. These are like so cool colored. Oh my gosh. These are the kind of eyeshadow colors they usually send me, like lime green. And then they sent the Hydrating Hybrid 2-in-1 Lipstick Balm by Sophia Mabel. Weekend getaway, a bamboo bronzer. Oh, this looks really pretty. I like all the little stars in it. Look at those stars. So that's everything in my boxy charm. Now I gotta clean up all of this mess. And if you guys can hear the rain right now, it is coming down. I'm actually shocked that the electricity didn't go out yet. freaking size of this it's like the size of a small Jeez. apple good god you let that thing grow that big My new case to buy cases just came in. I'm so excited. We're about to eat dinner, so I'm trying to hurry up and do this before Chad takes the burgers off the grill. I'm so happy right now. So this is the first one. I specifically picked these out so that they would go with the phone charms that I'm making, if you guys saw my other vlog. So this one has like a bunch of little stickers on it. And then of course I had to get a butterfly one and I decided to get the impact case with the pink and the blue. So freaking pretty, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. We're eating dinner now. Don't mind the paper plates. You know. you have some oh my God, thank you. <laughs> if you didn't tell me that, I wouldn't be able to put this clip up there or I would have to do an awkward, I don't know what was on my face in this clip. <laughs> Look how delicious this burger looks. Oh my gosh. Chad and I always do veggie burgers, but today we decide to make real burgers. It's much later now and it is war zone time. I'm actually on a party right now. And I'm gonna like record a little bit for you guys, even though I'm terrible, so you can laugh at me. It's fine. Thank you. 